find a rock or a stick. Here we go. Uh, maybe not that one. Anyways, that's that's chaga. Um, another word for it, which people in the United States called it before we found out about the tea side of it and the health properties of it. Um, you know, the first thing I've ever heard it called was cinder conch, which uh, dried out. You can actually do a bow drill on that, and it will catch coal, and that coal will burn just like an incense all the way till that thing's gone. Um, not many people know that, <laughs> which is a really good thing to know if you're in the area with this stuff. You know, you can get it dried out, and you can catch one little coal you don't have to blow on it to keep going or nothing it'll just keep on going and burn like an incense but i'm gonna gather that and uh and i bet you it's been probably about a year since i drank chaga tea and uh i always kick myself when i go that long because how it makes your body feel and it detoxes and the soreness goes away inflammation phenomenal for me um, another guy had, that was taking it, he had, couldn't even feel the bottom of his feet because of the inflammation stuff from arthritis and that, <laughs> within a week he had, uh, his wife was putting on his socks and he could feel his feet for the first time, he was so excited, he called me and, uh, he's like, I don't know if it's the chaga or not, you know, it's been like seven years since I was able to feel my, feel my feet and. He said his wife put his socks on and he could it actually tickled his feet and he could he could bend his foot again. He wasn't able to bend it for like seven years straight. I'm trying to find a log so I can bang that thing off the tree. Oh let's see here. Nope, I'm not gonna do it. Here's one maybe I might be able to get it out of there. thing <laughs> and it's a really good hobby if you're uh you need to get rid of some anger Let's see if i can stab myself in the eye or not i don't know if this ain't good content i don't know what it is <laughs> oh yeah i'm taking you home little buddy Maybe. No laughing. <laughs> oh, there it is, guys. I popped it loose. Used a nice solid dead oak branch. Let's see if there's anything in this thing. A few acorns and leaves. This will grow back until this tree, it'll actually suck the life out of the white birch. But that'll keep growing until they log it off or the tree dies um but yeah it'll suck life right out of this tree uh the only type of birch tree that i have found that chaga grows on that these won't suck life out of it is uh, uh yellow birch and they're more in lower you know lower grounds kind of towards swampy areas and stuff but uh, the yellow birch will actually kick it right off the tree somehow and then keep growing. And those trees, the yellow birch get huge. Like I've seen, I've seen a yellow birch that was probably like the size of my Chevy pickup truck hood, you know, in diameter. It was massive. I actually gathered, uh, me and my stepbrother gathered off a yellow birch tree once and we filled 250 pound uh, grain bags with chaga. It was one of the biggest pieces we've ever found. Well guys, man it is beautiful out. They sell it on eBay so that's the end of this video. See you later.